Hey guys, hope you all have been well. I just made a weird sound in my mouth when I smiled. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a very quick, very matte fall video. I told you guys that I wanted to do, try and do one more video as a follow-up to my previous one and this is what I wanted to share with you guys. There's very minimal makeup involved and it's very careless, effortless type of makeup. Nothing needs to be specifically placed in a certain area. It's really, I mean, you could probably do this with your eyes closed. It's not something that I go to all the time as frequently as I used to, but I wanted to bring it back a little bit because there's nothing wrong with the full matte look. I'm an oily skin girl and I can appreciate some matte in my life. Okay, Matt, where you at? I'm gonna show you how I do it, talk you through the products that I use fairly quickly, I think. And if you want to just look at a makeup post, I will also be putting this on Instagram and I will list all the makeup beauty products for you there, as well as in the description box down below. I'm not gonna chit chat too much because the last video was a chit chat video. So I'm going to get right into this video and I really do hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so let's get started with makeup. I'm gonna run through my foundation routine because I didn't show it to you guys. I will link a video down below on how I usually do my foundation as of late. So for foundation, I had used Max Full Coverage Foundation in NC35. I just apply my foundation with a dense brush. For my cream bronzer, I had used Tom Ford's Shade and Illuminate and I used it in the Intensity 2. I've totally messed up the top, but that's all right. For concealer, I had used Tarte's uh, Shade tape concealer and I use mine in light medium honey and then finally to mattify the skin as this is a matte video I used Aerospun's loose face powder and I just use it in the shade translucent I started off with max eyebrows instead just to define the underneath of my brows then I use the lingering big brow pencil again from Mac and it just looks like that and I basically take this and I just draw on my entire brow and then where I felt I just needed a little bit more shading in I had used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. If you like the way this turned out and something that you want to use continuously I definitely highly recommend getting these four shadows. They're some of the best formulas in MAC. It's very inconsistent but I stand behind these four. The first one that I use for my transition color is here and it is called Cork. This one here I use as my crease color as well as blending it upwards a little bit to the transition and this is saddle and then lastly down here is ground brown and I use this to apply all over the lids. As my liner shade I use this color right here and this shade here is called handwritten. I use it as my liner so everything that I use on my eyes is all shadows. So taking some of that quart color putting it on this brush. Just going to swipe that baby onto my transition area. I can pretty much just go like ham on it. I'm not being too careful with placement. That's all I did. That's all I did. You see how quick that was? I'm already moving on to my transition color. So I'm going to take saddle next. I'm putting it on this brush first as the initial placement, but when I want to define it a little bit more a little later, I will use the white hairbrush from Hakuhodo. Again, as you can see, I'm really careless with this. So yeah, next brush, Hakuhodo. I'm going to take ground brown. I'm going to start placing that on my lids, placing that on. I'm actually going to blend that out because I want it to seem like it's blending upwards. Oh my goodness, look. I'm done. The crease color, the transition color, and the lid color all kind of blend in seamlessly into each other. So this is saddle, working it into the crease. Take some cork and pop it back into the transition spot. So I'm going to take the white hairbrush again and I'm just going to grab some cork first, rub it underneath like so, and then some of ground brown just on the tip of the brush and then putting it on the outer portion. Lastly, I'm going to go in with Handwritten on the 266 brush and I'm going to pat that pigmented shades no matter what you do when you use it as liner and you kind of have to dig into the um, pan. It does have kick up and then you, you're left with like some fallout and dark shaded fallout colors is no bueno. I'm using Ardell's 113s and then I'm going to use the Duo Lash Adhesive from Duo and this is in the brush applicator form. I prefer this one. I used to use the tubes a while back when I first started using lashes but I just feel like this applies it a bit more evenly. Pop these on. Taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara popping that on just the base of my own lashes and not 
actually on the false lashes. The lower lashes as well. Show them a little love. And your eyes are done. And I'm going to do some bronzing. I already did some, but I want to bronze up some more. This is Max Matte Bronze Bronzing Powder, and I just got it in, I think this, this was a few summers ago or last summer. So I'm going to take it on a Real Techniques Multitask Brush, and I'm going to go pretty ham on this because my skin be looking pretty pale right now. <laughs> the foundation is is like a little light for me and also the uh what you might call it what do you call this thing translucent powder i'm going to use the same brush and i'm going to take max prism Br blush i'm sorry this is max prism blush and this is yet another matte shade it's not half a camera i'm going on um, pretty heavy with this blush because it's a fairly light blush so going on my skin tone, it might take a little bit more effort. And finally, on to the lips, I'm going to do a liquid lipstick. I didn't prep my lips beforehand. I took two of my lip liners. I have cork and I have stone. I want to go with stone first because I always use cork. So this is stone. I'm going to use it to line my lips. And as you can see, it's a very stone-like color, it's very gray. Do you need lip liner when you're using liquid lipstick? I don't think so, but I just, you know, I was like, why not? Let's try it out. So for my lips, I'm going to try one color out, and then I'm going to see if I'm going to top it with something else. I'm going to start off with Lime Crimes Shroom Liquid Lipstick. Looks like this. I'm not 100% sure if this is still available in Lime Crime or I know that some people don't necessarily support Lime Crime. I bought this shade a long time ago and so I'm not sure if it's still available but if you can see it's a it's like a milk chocolate warm color Do my traditional air sucking. Trying to dry that baby up. <laughs> and so guys, this is the final makeup look. It is a very quick look. I try my best to prove it to you guys. I will have to edit and cut certain parts just so that I can simplify the video, but know that this can be done within, no joke, 15 minutes start to finish. I know that this would feed into a lot of people's comfort zone and what they find they would like to use um, very regularly. There was no highlighter involved in the filming of this video. Sometimes an all matte look, is all you need in your life. I will list all the makeup products down for you in the description box below and I will also be posting this on Instagram because I'm sure that a lot of you guys like to look at my Instagram for my makeup posts. So I have both options for you guys ready and I hope that you guys recreate this look and feel sassy while you rock it. Next video I promise to do a fashion haul video. I hauled some clothing. Oh. I hauled some clothing from ASOS, I got rid of some stuff and I wanted it to add a few more pieces into my collection. They had a 70% off. There was just like this pretty big sale and I had purchased uh, quite a few items from there. I don't know if all of them are but I got a lot of tops, a pair of jeans and I will be mixing and matching them with each other as well as incorporating some of my older pieces from ASOS as well into the look so please be looking forward to that it was a video i wanted to film today but i have these this bandage thing on my knee it's not sexy so i'm going to wait until next week to film that video if you guys like this makeup look and enjoyed this video go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below i would really appreciate it and i will also be including my instagram account link down below if you are interested in following me and keeping up with my life as well as a whole bunch of makeup posts if you want to know what I'm wearing in a video, go and check up Instagram. That's where it is. So I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Until the next one, I hope you are all doing well, taking really good care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye.